Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm here to help you a little bit with the passé composé today. So the passé composé in French is a way to talk about something that happened in the past. Remember that whenever we're talking about using the passé composé, it's always for something that really happened, something that had a beginning, something that had an ending. So we're not using the passé composé to describe something that happened in the past. All right, so if we had to give a few examples in English of times you would use the passé composé, we could say, for example, this morning I woke up at 6.30. Whenever I woke up, I went straight to the kitchen and I got a cup of coffee. I drank my coffee, then I went and took a shower. After my shower, I got dressed. Then I ate cereal for breakfast. After breakfast, I cleaned up the kitchen, made my bed, and then I went to school. See, all of these things are things that happened one right after the other. They had a beginning, they had an ending, now they're finished. That's all passé composé. And it's important to remember that. It's what I always tell my students because pretty soon you're going to be learning about different ways to talk about the past, descriptive ways, for example, and you have to remember that that's not the passé composé. So, for right now, let's just be content talking about things that happened in the past. Okay, so to form the passé composé, you're going to see is really not so difficult. First of all, you need a subject, as usual. So, for today, just to make things simple, we're going to talk about the subject in terms of subject pronouns. Uh, so, we have the subject pronoun je, tu, il, and that's also elle and on, nous, vous, and il, which is also elle, all right? After the subject, you need a helping verb. So regular verbs in the passé composé use the same helping verb, and that's the verb avoir, that you've certainly learned already. So the verb avoir, j'ai, tu as, il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Can you say it with me? J'ai, tu as, il a, Nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. All right, so we've got that much. Now remember, that's the helping verb, and sometimes teachers and other people refer to it as the auxiliary verb. So I'll just write that here for you. Here we have the subject pronoun je. So I write e, tu, a, il, a, nous avons, Vous avez, and ils ont. D'accord? All right, so now we have the subject, we have the helping verb, and what we need now is the past participle. So to begin with, let's talk about regular verbs, because that's the way we always begin. And you know later in French, you're going to have some exceptions and some irregular verbs, but for right now, let's just keep it simple. Okay, so for your regular verbs, let's talk about the three groups of regular verbs that you may have learned already. So the first group, they're the ER verbs. The second group, they're the IR verbs. And the third group, the RE verbs. Okay, so if we begin with the first group, those are the ER verbs. What's an example of an ER verb? Maybe the verb parler comes to mind. Okay, it's one of the most simple ones. It's one of the first ones that everyone learns. So let's talk about the verb parler. All right, we see the infinitive parler. In order to get the past participle, what you do is you take off the er, right? You're left with p a r l, and then you just add an e with accent aigu. And there you have it. That's your past participle. So, to say I spoke, je, et, and then your past participle, in this case, will be parler. I spoke, j'ai parlé. You see? That's so difficult. So, to say you spoke, and remember this you is singular and it's informal, you spoke, tu as parlé, he spoke, il a parlé, 
We spoke. Nous avons parlé. You spoke, and this you is formal, or maybe it's plural. Vous avez parlé. And they spoke, ils ont parlé. So all of your regular ER verbs are going to work in the same way. I ate, j'ai mangé. We swam, nous avons nagé. They looked at, ils ont regardé. D'accord? All right, so that's your first group of regular verbs. The second group, those are the IR verbs. Try to think of a regular IR verb. Have you learned any? The one that comes to mind, one of the first ones that I teach my students, is the verb finir. Have you learned finir? Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about finir. I'll just erase all of these. Okay, so the verb finir. Remember, when we write it in its original form, that's called the infinitive. So here's the infinitive of the verb finir. Other verbs that work like finir, we have choisir, remplir, obéir. Can you think of any others? Réussir. All right, so let's talk about finir. What do we have to find? We already have the subject. We have the helping verb, and remember, it's always going to be avoir with these regular verbs. So the helping verb remains the same. We don't have to change it. All we need to get from this infinitive finir is the past participle. Now remember, with ER verbs, we had to take off the ER and add an E with accent aigu. For IR verbs, regular ones, like finir, all you have to do is erase the R. And there you have it, fini. So to say, I finished, j'ai fini. You finished, tu as fini. He finished, il a fini. Nous avons fini. Vous avez fini. And ils ont fini. You see? Voila. C'est facile. All right. So we have one more group left. Do you remember what the third group of verbs is? It's the verbs that end in RE. Can you think of any? How about répondre? To respond, to answer. Hmm? We also have attendre that you maybe have learned. So let me erase these, and we'll get on to our third group, and then guess what? That's it. Those are the three main groups of verbs. Okay, so what did we say? The verb répondre? Now, you remember what this form of the verb is called? It's the infinitive. Okay? Répondre, to answer, to respond. <clears throat> In order to find the past participle of all regular RE verbs, what you have to do, we always have to take something off. So in this case, we take off the RE, and then we have to add something as well. So you just add a U. And there you have it. The past participle of the verb répondre is répondu. Same subject pronouns, same helping verb, doesn't change and we need our past participle. So, I answered, j'ai répondu. Tu as répondu. Il a répondu. Nous avons répondu. Vous avez répondu. And the last one, ils ont répondu. So, there you have it. Now, you know how to use the passé composé with regular verbs that end in ER, IR, and RE. Remember, using the passé composé is so much simpler than using the present tense. 
And the reason why is because you really only have to know how to conjugate one verb. Which one is that? That's your helping verb, the verb avoir. So as promised, the passé composé, after we get beyond the regular stuff, it ends up getting a little more complicated, I have to be honest with you. The next step is going to be looking at verbs that use the same helping verb, avoir, but they don't fall into the category of the regular verbs. All right, so we have a whole list of common irregular verbs that use avoir as helping verb in the passé composé, and that'll be the next lesson. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please let me know, leave me a comment, uh, let me know what you think, if you have any suggestions to make, or any questions, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you, bye. Au revoir.